Hi, um, my name's Lauren, and I'm going to be helping you out today with your makeup. So, yeah, I got a call from you last week, and you wanted some help um, just kind of learning the basics of what you can do for your makeup. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, don't worry about being a beginner. Everyone has the time that they need to learn these things, and for some it's later than others. There's no problem with that. So I brought quite a few products to show you today. Um, we're going to start with just the basics of foundation for your face. And you have a few different options for what you want to use on your face. So what we're going to be using and putting on your face today is just a powder. Uh, this is from MAC. It's their Mineralized Skin Finish. And this is just good to just throw on all over your face. Um, not throw on, but... <laughs> It's just easy. Um, you want to use a fluffy brush like this. Um, just get it all over, put it all over your face, and you're done. You look like you don't have too many blemishes, which is good. So you probably don't need um, a liquid foundation anyway. So a liquid foundation is really going to help cover up blemishes and just give you a completely new surface to work with. And this is really good if you had a date night or if you just wanted to look extra special, but it's not something that you need on a daily basis. It takes extra time and with a liquid foundation you also need a primer for your face. So that would be just a clear liquid. It kind of feels waxy when you put it on. I can show you what it looks like. But this is only for liquid. You really don't need it with a powder. Let's see if you can see that. See, it's just clear. Just a jelly-like substance. It dries on your skin completely clear. And this just helps make the makeup stick on all day. So then you don't have to worry about it wearing off. So just completely clear. It also helps um, close up some of your pores in case you have any larger pores. Um, a lot of people have them near the nose on the cheeks so that'll help with that. So we're not going to be using the primer today though but that's something to keep in mind. And then another type of like heavier um, powder foundation is going to be one that has, this one is actually different, but most of them come with um, silicone in the powder, and this makes it appear like a um, liquid foundation because it really sinks, sinks into the pores and gives you a very flawless look. But this one is actually very natural and good for your skin. This is a company called Terra Firma. This is the uh, only powder one that I'll use that doesn't have all the parabens and all that bad stuff in it. So this is a good option. And then you also have a tinted moisturizer. So this will give you extra moisture in your skin, in your cells and everything without having to apply another moisturizer. It just kind of helps you cut back on all the steps that you need to take in the morning when you're putting on your makeup. And this one's by Benefit. This is one that I do recommend. It works really well and it is very moisturizing. And then again, for today we're just going to be using a light powder. We're going to be focusing more on the eyeshadow and makeup technique. And then again, with the powder, you just want to use a big fluffy brush like this. Just make sure it's soft. It'll make it easier for putting on in the morning. No one wants a harsh brush with hard bristles. And you can really get these anywhere. A big fluffy one you don't have to spend a lot of money on. Because it just needs to do the job. So that's what we'll be using. And then if you did use um, a liquid or a heavier powder or cream foundation, you do want to get a setting powder. This one's my Makeup Forever, and it looks white, but it just shows up clear. So um, after you put on the uh, foundation, you just take another big fluffy brush and powder that everywhere, and then it makes it uh, set for the whole day. So you can get one like that, or there are some that come in a compact 
so you can use this to touch up through the day. So just this one has a little bit of a skin tint to it, but um, it does show up pretty much translucent. And just a tip, um, when you start buying all of your makeup, um, when things come with a little applicator pad like this, you really don't want to use it. Um, these are good for a one or two time use and then throw away. But a lot of people make the mistake of keeping these and it just collects all of the dirt and, um, you know, just nasty stuff that you don't want to be putting back on your face. So it's a good idea to just use brushes and then make sure that you keep them clean. Okay, so that is all of the foundation that we need to go over. And then, moving on to cheeks. You have many different options for cheeks, but just two of the obvious, obvious basics that most people know about are bronzer and blush. So this is a bronzer. Um, not everyone really uses this. It's just if it's your personal preference to look tanner or to contour lines in your cheeks. Um, you can put it under your chin and then it makes you have a slimmer face line. Um, you can also put this in your temples. It just kind of contours your face and gives it some more of those edges that people usually like to go for. Um, so this is just, it's, you know, light brown bronzer. This one um, is pretty matte. A lot of them have shimmer and the shimmer kind of just makes you look like you're going to the beach. So I try to stay with the mattes for an everyday look. And then for blush, I brought an interesting blush with me today. This is not the typical pink, purplish, red, anything like that. It looks actually kind of like a bronzer, but it comes off this very nice, like dark peach almost, but it looks very nice on light skin tones like you and I both have. And it's called Strata by MAC. This is one of my favorite blushes of all time. So I just wanted to share it with you and see if you liked it as well. This kind of cuts out the contouring step. It gives you that blush and contouring look in one powder. And then, let's see, we can talk a little bit about the brushes that you'll be using. So if you did want to use the bronzer, you want to try to get, you, you need a big fluffy brush, but it's good if you can get one that's kind of bent almost, so that it's not just round. So this one, see it's skinnier going this way. Um, you want this so that you can just really get a big amount of face <coughs> with it at once, because when you are using the bronzer, you don't want any harsh lines. You want them to blend in very well. And again, a good way to test out the brush is just make sure it's soft. That's kind of just how you know that it's a good brush. And then with the bronzer, you want to put it on the brush and then there's a good technique to remember. First, you make a three on your face and then on the other side, an E. So you just do that from the temple, you make a three down to the cheek, and then the other part down over the chin. Same thing on the other side. That's the best way to remember how to bronze and contour your face. It just chisels out those uh, contours and shadows that you want to create to have a nice overall effect. So that's what this brush would be for. This one is a MAC 134. This is a little bit pricey, but you can definitely find these other places. For blush and contouring, I recommend using an angled brush like this one. It kind of angles off to the side. Um, it just kind of helps get the right shape of the blush and contouring, but it's all personal preference. Um, a lot of people do use just a big powdery, fluffy one like this. And then for your foundation brushes, you have a couple of options. You can use the big fluffy one for powder, and then these are both going to be for the liquid, if you ever use that. 
Um, so you can use a stippling brush. This is probably the one I would recommend. Um, see it has these spaced out bristles here. It's kind of an odd looking brush. But this one is good because you put the product on the brush and then you just stipple all over your face and it makes sure that it gets the product well evened out all over and then you can buff it in. So that's a good way to give it a nice light even look. So this is probably the type of brush that I would recommend. But you can also use kind of just like a, a painter's brush. You really, with this one, you just paint it on your face. And this is going to give you a heavier look. So it really just depends what products you're using and what kind of look you're going for. So those are the brushes. And then next, I'm going to show you the eyeshadow that we're going to be using. So this one is by Urban Decay. Um, this is a great starter kit. It has really everything that you need in all in one. Um, it has the eyeshadows, which I can show you. We're going to be using this eyeshadow quad today. We're actually only going to be using um, this light color for the lid, this dark one for the crease and a highlight color. But this is also a very pretty brown color. And this is just obviously going to be a very natural brown smoky eye. And it'll look very nice with your big brown eyes. And then it also has a little brush, which I really don't recommend using because it's not going to look as nice as if you use real makeup brushes. Um, and then it comes with an eyeliner, as well as a mascara. So everything you need is in kits like this, and you can find these anywhere. You can get the Urban Decay one, um, you can go to Sephora, and there's going to be lots of different brands that have little travel kits like this. And then there's a few other products I'm going to show you to give you your um, options. You can also, instead of just using the pencil liner, the pencil liner is just going to look like this. It's really just a pencil. This is going to give you um, kind of a more smoked out look, but um, if you want a bolder, kind of edgier, darker look, I would suggest a liquid eyeliner. And this can take some getting used to and practice is needed to um, figure out how to apply this really well. It took me quite a while to figure out liquid eyeliner. But this is just going to look like this. Just a little brush there and has all the liquid product. I do prefer this though for the top lid and then I use the pencil on the bottom. That's what I do on all my clients. I think it gives it a very nice finished look. So the pencil is what we're going to be using on your bottom um, eyelid today on the waterline. And then you also have the option of using a eyebrow pencil. Some people like to fill in their brows with um, eyeshadow or brow powder kind of things. I prefer a pencil because it's a little waxy and I feel like it stays on longer. So this one is for dark brown. They have all different colors. And you can also make your brows a little bit darker in case you want them to stand out more with these. So this one is by Anastasia. Anastasia. However you want to pronounce it. And then I also brought along another uh, full-size mascara. This is my mascara of preference. I actually prefer these type of applicators. It's um, plastic. If you can see that. Um, it is not the classic type of mascara brush. This one has really small little bristles uh, coming off of it that really help get in between your lashes and help curl them up. So I recommend one of these. And then also have an eyelash curler of course. Um, this one's by Tweezerman. That is a very good brand that I would recommend using.
Okay, and then I have three smaller brushes to show you before we get started. So this is the type of brush that you want to use for the um, lid color. Just kind of flat paddle brush. This one's a little bit fluffier. You could also use this in your crease if you wanted to. But we're just going to pat the color all over on the eyelid with this. And then you want a pencil brush like this one for the crease color. So see it has a point on it that really helps get into the crease, get that color in there so you can get a dramatic look and really deepens your um, eyebrow bone. So this is a pencil brush and again these type of brushes you can really find at any type of makeup store. And then we also have this one which is good to have around just in case you get fallout from the eyeshadow. Under your eye, it really, you can just sweep under there and get the fallout out. So this is just a handy tool to have, but it's not necessary to have. Okay, so that is all of the brushes. And then I have a few lip products that I'll show you in a second. But let's just do the quick eyeshadow makeup. So I'm going to be going in with the Urban Decay Travel Palette. I'm going to take my paddle brush and I'm going to dip it into this lighter brown color. I'm just going to be using that as the um, all over lid color today. So I'm just going to sweep that all over the lid from the inner corner all the way to the middle and outer corner. And you don't want to go above the eyeshadow crease with this. Depending on the color, sometimes you need to go back and apply more. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm going to get the other eye. This is usually the one that you might have a little bit of fallout with, but that can be easily fixed. Okay, good. And then I'm going to go in with the pencil brush. And this one, we don't need as much product because it's a darker color. So I'm just going to get some of that on the brush. And then sometimes if you look at the brush and there's too much product on there, you just want to tap it off into the sink or wherever you're doing your makeup just so that you don't cause more fallout. So pick up some of that on the brush and then with this one I'm just gonna go right from the outer corner crease and there's different techniques for putting in the crease color. I like to just do a little bit of a circle to begin with and then kind of just blend it out into the crease. So just gonna get that right on the outer corner and blend in. And then you also want to start bringing it up just a little bit. That'll really get the smoky effect going. Okay. And get the other eye. Circle in the outer crease and blend. Okay. Yep, that looks pretty good. And then you can either use a separate brush or just use the other side of the paddle brush. You just want to go in with the highlight color. And we're just going to put that right under the brow bone. It just helps highlight the brow bone and really open up your eyes. Okay. And then it does look like you got a little bit of fallout. So we're going to go in with this brush and just go right under the eye and sweep that away. Good. 
So that's everything with the eyeshadow. And then next you would do the liquid eyeliner. We're going to just put this on the top. So just a little brush. This can tickle a little bit, and so I want you to close your eyes. And I'm just going to put this just over the top. And this can really be versatile um, depending on what look you are going for. You can make this really thick or just a nice thin line for an everyday natural look. And then you want to take the pencil eyeliner and this just goes on the bottom waterline. Good. That looks great. Then we are just going to curl the lashes, both eyes. Mm -hmm. And put some mascara on. You can either just go straight up like this, or if you really want to make sure you get every single lash, you can go in the bottom and then wiggle it around and then go up. Get the other eye. You can also kind of help the mascara by blinking slowly as you go up with the brush. Okay, good. And then... We are going to do the powder foundation. I'm going to take the fluffy brush and get that all over. Tap it off. And this is just going to go everywhere under the eyes, on your cheeks. On the side of your face, on your chin, down the nose, and on your forehead. So this you just want to put everywhere. Okay, good. And then last thing for the face is the blush. And I hope you like this as much as I do. I think this is such a great blush. So this, you want to kind of focus on the apples of your cheeks, which is, you know, the big round part of your cheeks when you smile. And then also move up on the actual cheekbone. Okay, and smile for me. Okay, good. That looks great. And then, last thing I have to show you is two, or no, three, four, <laughs> four lip products. So, you always want to use a primer on your lips before you start putting lip product on. This one is MAC Prep and Prime. It's just clear, waxy, um, you put it on, and it helps if you have any um, chapping or any lines that need to be calmed down before you put on any lip products. This just really helps smooth it out and give you a nice starting point for the lip products. You can also just use chapstick or um, some like clear lip gloss treatment before. Um, this one, it just has more of a waxy substance, so it really helps. So that, and then I just wanted to show you some lip products, because lip products um, are kind of like eyeliner. They take some practice to learn the right colors for your skin tone. And you have more of a cooler skin tone, so I brought just some pinks and nudes to show you, because that's good for an everyday look. So you have this type of option. For a lipstick, this is a lipstick. It's just more of a, a pencil form than a 
traditional stick form. So this is NARS, and it's just a really nice pink. Let me show you what that looks like. Just a really nice pink color. So you can use something like this. This is really easy to throw in your bag and use when you're out. Or for the more nude look as opposed to just pink. This is a true nude lipstick. It's Myth by MAC. This is almost too nude, especially for your skin skin tone. So this one, let's watch it here for you. It's just very, very nude. You can't even really see it on my hand. So these ones you have to be careful with because it can just wash out your face. For a better nude, it just has a bit of pink in it, I would recommend this one, which is called Hue by MAC. So this one just adds a little bit of color so that it's not so scary looking. And this one is also a glaze finish, so it gives you a little bit of moisture as well. It's that bottom one right there. So that is what I would recommend for your skin color for lipstick. So I think that about concludes our lesson for today. Um, I hope I could help you out with all of your makeup endeavors. Did you have any questions? Okay, great. Well, let me know if you need any more help with your makeup, and I will see you next time. Bye.